Hey, hey, everybody, it's Kato Mato back for episode four of my Simucraft Let's Play. Guys, so I went mining between episodes, got quite a bit of resources. Uh, not a lot of diamonds, but a few. Let me go ahead and take off my armor for now, uh, and we'll store it by the mine. But I got $75 now, so I'm doing pretty well. Got a lot of iron, and after doubling the gold, I've got decent amount of gold uh you know enough to get us started for sure put a couple planks in here and get this going uh, to get these two and uh so we're going to make a few items here to uh, help us along uh the first thing let me turn off my yeah. okay good uh the first thing we're going to want to make is the mining wand all right so uh or actually the building wand Building one is three gold and some planks, uh, so we should be able to get that. Uh, let's see, uh, right here, bam. All right, and we also, or uh, that was just the breaking one that I got, that's fine. I want that too, and let's also get the building one. All right, so now we have all three of the wands. Actually, I already had a breaking one. Ah, thing gets me sometimes, it's all right. Uh, they do use durability, so uh, that'll save us from having to make a re reinforced one, which uses blocks of uh, items. So, you know, if I want to do the reinforced breaking one, it would be blocks of iron and obsidian. So it, it gets kind of on the expensive side there. But the only one we need now is the mining wand, and that's three diamonds, right? I do have three diamonds. I got them, uh, but we're going to want to probably use those for the diamond pick, although I think I think I can configure this to get obsidian. I think it's an, a, a, a config option. I might look at that. Uh, at, I, I don't see any reason not to. Uh, but basically, been using this iron hammer here. I've already gone through one, uh, but we've got quite a bit of iron now over a stack of iron and still more smelting. So we want to make something from the workbench upgrades. And guys, this is a uh, little cheaty in a way, but it's also very useful in a circumstance like this, especially without something like Project E or Equivalent Exchange. That was the only thing that tempted me to play in 1.7.10 was so I could use Project E. I may do another series with, with that, uh, depending on how this goes. All right, but we need blocks of iron. So we need four blocks of iron and a crafting table. All right, so let's see, blocks of iron. One, two, three, four of those. And then a crafting table. It's maybe under wood. Not sure. Uh, right here. There's only a few to choose from, so you'll eventually get to it. Then that should give us the item for the workbench upgrade, I hope. Uh, not seeing it. Let's check the recipe again. Yeah. Four blocks of iron and a crafting table. I do not see it in the list. I don't think it would be anywhere else. Oh, here it is right here. Iron workbench. Okay. So this guy is a regular workbench. It, it won't bring up that interface, I don't believe. Uh, no. It'll just be regular crafting, but it's two times. So anything that you craft, you get two of them. All right. So if I did sticks, for instance, I get eight sticks. All right. Very, very nice. If I did wood, I get eight wood okay now you can use this in a very cheaty way guys if you want to all right and if i make a block of something i get two blocks of that right and if i take that i get 18 so i just doubled actually maybe even quadrupled so see i just got tons of gold from doing that uh it's in the mod you know the mod is the thing here is the diamond workbench, and it requires four blocks of diamond. It does eight times, guys, eight times. So I plan to really only use this for uh, stuff that we really need, like the building materials and stuff. Now, I'm not saying I won't, but it's my discretion. But that is not going to stop me from doing mining and stuff that we need to do. All right, I'm not going to just give up on all that. So... Very, very cool uh, to do that. By the way, that's part of the Grim Pack and the modern versions. And so is these building wands, all right? So that's why I love a lot of this stuff. Is it still not in the latest versions, but up to 1.12.2, all 
okay it'll probably eventually be updated i don't know grim's kind of slowed down a bit these days but see i could get coal by doing that so if i run out of coal i can basically get more of my coal now in the grim pack they do block uh, or or well actually block the blocks of doing that that duplication type of deal uh it's configurable you could turn it on or turn it off to do that uh but it it's blocked by default and you know but that was the intention of the mod i mean the mod was made this is an older mod i think from at least 1.2.5 i think uh it's been around for a while okay so that gets us in good shape for that we got our one then we want to start to look at some of the the storage stuff which does require quite a bit of gold uh, not that uh refined relocation uh, some of the sorting chests and iron chests. There's iron sorting chests and what have you. Um, or you could get the regular sorting chest, which requires gold. But you might as well go with the iron one because you just need an iron chest and then it requires gold. So you don't have to remake it. So, of course, you know, your iron chest is just all that. So we could actually go to gold chest if we wanted uh, and get it this way. We do have to have an iron chest. So, you know, we don't need that much storage at the moment, uh, but let's go ahead and make a couple of these because it, it doesn't do you any good to have just one of them. All right. So let's make a few chests. I have some, uh, I believe, yeah, I have three right now and I have a pretty good amount of iron. Keep in mind, I can double what I want to do. So if I put this in here and I push my iron to it like that, then I get two of them. Nice, 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 nice. So there's two of them. Like I said, it, it doesn't do you any good to have just one in this case. So we'll go ahead and make two more of those like such. All right. And there we go. And then we'll convert those. I'll keep this chest uh, just for the heck of it. And then we'll convert those. Uh, over and we'll get two of the sorting chests so basically we would get a total of eight if we wanted them uh, and that's fine I'll just go ahead and make four to begin with eight's kind of too many but we'll have uh, an iron chest to use for certain other stuff I don't think it can be used with these guys at all iron chests uh, but these chests are basically self-sorting. Now, I haven't used this version of the mod in a long time. I've only used the updated versions. So I'm assuming it works pretty much the same. Uh, we do have dollies in here from Jabba. Let's look at that. Excuse me. Uh, the dolly is iron and birch wood. So before I put a lot of stuff in there, I need to test it to be sure that that it'll work okay let's see if i got planks on me yeah so it was just what iron and a plank yeah so it's not showing in the list here it must be someplace else uh, I, i'm going to check this for a while just till i learn what it's got and what it doesn't uh, it doesn't appear in any of the lists so i'm assuming that it's not so let's just try to craft it um you know you might as well double whatever you're doubling it's, it's no the only thing with that is that you know you use up storage space that you may not need to use up and my inventory is already trashed right now so let's see oh uh, yeah there it is two of them two for one deal uh throw it out for right now and i don't need the bow and stuff for right now it's a uh, too much for me so we'll grab these guys and let's just be sure that the dolly will work with them before we put in a lot of stuff is a better course of action uh so let's see here yeah yeah no problem okay cool so you know you get a potion effect and stuff when you're uh so maybe they weren't ever intended to stack uh, so let's get those out of our hand at the moment and put them back up. Uh, okay, and lay down, like I said, some of the sorting chests. We got one right there, right here. If we wanted to go around a corner. I think there's a connector. 
that'll allow you to do that. Uh, let's see here, sorting connector. So it's gold nuggets and stone. You get four of them, eight of them. So, I mean, we can do that. That's no problem. Let me sleep. So I don't get everybody killed. Um, but let's see if it's basically the same. Now, inside the other one, there's like an interface. So, see, I don't know. Let me look and see how that works in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's basically the same. So, we can set it up to sort all ingots, all ores. These are preset filters. Uh, you can do a whitelist, a custom filter, uh, wild character's name, separate, um, priorities. So, it's a little different than the newer ones. But a custom filter... Wild card character or dictionary lookup prefix. Separate filters with a comma. All right, so guess we could, you know, put something that has types of dirt or types of ore, types of whatever. But the preset's probably the best. So you shift right click on that to get that. So let's start off with. Um, let's say building blocks and. For that one and food stuffs for this one let's say all food and let's add maybe if there are mob drops in here let's see oh so it's it's already got mod items listed that's good so we can filter by my mod items tools all food I'll put plants and food and I'd like to get mob drops if there was a thing like that. Uh, we'll look into that. It looks like it's the creative tabs. That's how it's doing it. So we could look into that. So now whenever I put something. Uh, let me set this one to all gems too. Uh, this was blocks. Yeah, see here's gems. So let's lay down another one for right now. And let's see if we put our gems and dyes and stuff in there. Uh, all gems, all brush stores is a thing, dusts, uh, dyes. Yeah, let's look at that. So that's kind of the valuables chest. So if I take my diamonds, I should be able to put them in any chest here. Yeah, and they sort to the chest that we assigned. Super nice. So like wool... Not sure where it would go. Maybe blocks. I'm not sure if I assigned it. Um, but let's let's like try to sort this stuff. Now there's be a miscellaneous. If it doesn't go anywhere, uh, we'll go ahead and lay down the last one and leave it blank. And I think we can set priorities <clears throat> to be these are normal high. Um, I'm not sure it would matter in this case, but that would be sure that no matter where we put it, it would go into there. So ingots uh, should be in, let's see, what's this one? This one's food. So all ingots should go into there, all ores. And I think we need to redo it, yeah. All right, so it'll sort into there. Dust should go. Uh, this we didn't assign. Let's see if wool goes anywhere. Wool goes into blocks, I guess. Gravel, blocks, planks, blocks, brown wool, dirt, cobble, cobble, dirt, wood. So yeah, any block goes into there. Uh, this one was food and such, so let's grab that. Uh, I need like all plants. I don't know where mob drops will go, but eggs would probably go in the food. Uh, okay, we, we need to do all plants. Let's see. Let's not eat. So all planks, all plates, all food, all dice. Well, it says all plants. Uh, let me go ahead and say foodstuffs. 
Kind of got to work with it a little bit to see what works best for it. But wheat, I would think, would go into all plants. Normal high. All food. Yeah, see, I got all plants. But for some reason, it doesn't seem to sort into there. Uh, let's try some food for sure. Food works. Chicken. Eggs. No, eggs didn't go anywhere. It needs to be like animal drops. Apples of food. That's food. Wheat does not seem to go. <clears throat> there definitely has to be one. Uh, for that. Foodstuffs is a tab. We'd have to see what the creative tab is. Because, yeah, I'm definitely not seeing an, another option in addition to that. Uh, don't want to mess with it too long on camera because this is stuff I'll figure out afterwards. But, guys, that gives us a sorting system, like, immediately, where we can keep better organized without having to think about it too much. And that's always a good thing. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and sort through the rest of these uh, just off camera, but I just wanted to show you. Then, like I say, you could do sorting connectors to extend them. There's a lot of advanced stuff uh, that you can do in addition to that. So I'm happy with that. Um, don't need this pick. It's about dead. We got our tools. I'll demonstrate the building wand for you guys because uh, it's a useful tool. Uh, to help us fill in areas and stuff like that. Of course, I did take out all my blocks. I got lots of dirt out of here. Uh, but I don't want to keep everything in there. Let me put up the armor uh, in the mining area here is kind of what I'm doing. Just so that that's the only time I'm going to wear it. Mm. Is when I go mining. So, let's see what we got in here. Bunches of wool. I need to put all that up. Uh, but let's grab some of our dirt here uh, and we'll get some planks okay and there was a big event in between episodes here guys uh, i got a message in chat let's see if we can find them that ursula married our builder what do you know so she is unemployed she's a homeowner she's living with someone all right Hello. So, she is 21 now. She's living with Willie Eagle Feathers. They're married. So, she's married to him. So, that's pretty cool. And so, she's acquaintances with June Strider. She's best friends with Cassette O'Leary. So, see, they develop relationships, dislike, like, hate, all this kind of stuff. And they get married. So, if we look on here, Ursula Eagle Feathers is listed as the owner and living here all right that's weird because willie eagle feathers is listed over here but they're living together so uh, but they're living together so they didn't for some reason take over houses so we didn't get a freed up house from that I was hoping we would um but you know can't have everything that you want can't always get what you want as they say so we need to build them another house to get more people in here all right so we've got basically two on this side. We would, for you know, sake of symmetry, want one here. But I don't know. It's kind of a weird placement, but I think I will go ahead. Uh, although it will sit behind this a bit, but not too bad. Uh, I might end up moving this back a little bit. Uh, again, keep in mind I can move stuff. But just for the symmetry of these two uh, joined together, you know, two on each side, I think we will we'll go ahead and build this. We may end up moving that or not. So, guys, you kind of know the drill on this. Uh, we basically just need to get our builder going. I'm kind of waiting for him to level up. Uh, but we're going to need planks and cobble for that. Uh, we should have what we need. Uh, it's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and get this guy building another one of these houses over here. And so we're, uh, we want to do the, basically the same distance. It was five, I think, between them. One, two, three, four, five, and a, a one over. 
So we'll do the same there, although like I said, it'll put it a little behind here. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll put our guy there. And I think it was one in front of it is where it went, right here. So let's uh, put it in the ground. I'll just break with that, it's fine. And go there. Craft building constructor activated. And then I got my chest here. And we'll go ahead and get it set up, get him started. Uh, but he won't he won't build today for sure. So choose the building, residential, wool, uh, wool starter home, build it. Uh, we'll put the items in there, cobble and planks, I believe is all it was. And then he should do it first thing in the morning. And that'll get us another resident and basically complete that line of houses. So we'll be ready to go. So let's go ahead and go to bed, guys. Okay, so he should start building. Zombies, what are you gonna do? Let's see if, I don't know if anything else spawned around. But yeah, he's he started building, or, or she, did I hire her? Oh, Ursula Eagle Feathers. I must have just looked at Eagle Feathers. Yeah, she's an Eagle Feather now. So, you know, we're well represented with Eagle Feathers here. Um, so that'll get us, like I say, the uh, last section of these types of houses. And then we'll move on to a new design. Uh, but let's see if there's any... Here's Spider. Somewhere... Uh, let's see if there's any access uh, beef. Yeah, there is. See, so we can get access beef from here to feed ourselves when we want to. All right, Spidey, where are you at? Bro. Must be underground. Don't. On the roof. Um, yeah, whatever. That's all right. So basically, that gets us going on those. And um, let me show you the building wand here. Let's find an area that we want to fill. It's especially good for filling. Uh, this cave, I'm going to leave for right now. But let's go ahead and like fill this area. Here, Zomber active day uh, so basically with this you just need to right click the block that you want to start and it needs to be a block of the same type that you finish with so we'll pick grass over here okay and then we can hold left control by default and right click to get these uh, key assignments so we want to do full box which is X so if I hold down the X key uh, which in this case is assigned let me uh, let me change that for the full screen map uh, controls let me do right it's fine and so if I hold down X and hit that then see it fills in the area for you using the blocks from your inventory so but it just makes it a lot lot easier to fill out this stuff so let's make sure she has everything she needs I really wanted to use hubby to level him up, but we're okay. So that thing's hard to read sometimes against the sky. But yeah, 34, 134 planks. We might need a few more planks. Uh, I got more. Okay. Now let's just be sure that gets done. And we should be good on that. So let me get my clipboard. And then the next thing we're going to want to look at is the lumber mill. All right, the lumber mill is important for what we want to do, uh, and but we need another person in here to do that, all right, really. So the lumber mill is gonna be back over here, right over here, okay? And so when she's done, we'll set that up. And then we need to make a thing called markers. All right, let's look at that real quick. Uh, 
to lay out the area that they will cut down trees from, right? So let's look at the markers. Uh, basically, I just need some flowers, yellow flowers. So the marker is a flower and a stick, dandelions and sticks. All right, so I got sticks, yes. So let's just make a few of those. Uh, let's, it, it makes four, um, is it dandelion yellow or dandelion? Yeah, it's dandelion yellow. Okay, so we can get uh, four from that. And we should be able to get six markers. Uh, let's get go ahead and get 12. It's enough for four different layouts, although you can reuse them, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but these markers, you can lay them down, so you can actually use them to measure if you want. Uh, probably will fill, I'm going to fill some of this for sure. Yeah, I don't have enough dirt. Sorry, I'll get more dirt. Um, but the markers you can lay down and see, they'll show you alignments. So like if I wanted to see my alignments here, I could. Aha reveals problems that I didn't notice. So these guys are back one. So they're aligned with each other. But that ones are, are forward. So whatever, I'll, I'll, I don't know if I'll move them or not. It's not that big of a deal. Um, probably I will because it'll drive me nuts if I don't. But see, you can use those for your alignments and layouts as well, which is useful. Pick up all the stuff. She's about done with this. Yeah, pretty close. So I definitely need to go ahead and get rid of this stuff. I can use, I'll use, I can use the breaking wand, but it gets rid of all the items. Uh, so I'd rather use the mining wand because the mining wand will return the dirt to me. So in this early stage, it's to our advantage to, uh, oh, I didn't make the mining wand yet. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get that dirt cause I still do need it and you know, wasted effort if I don't, so she needs more planks. Okay. I thought that was plenty, but okay. Can do blocks is here. And so you could see that, you know, my wood's kind of low, but again, I can get more planks that way so nice be so useful guys to help speed up our progress so we don't not grinding as much plus what they mine we'll be able to you know get more from it uh i doubt you need many more here's more dirt right here okay. uh, but yeah i'm going to mine this out between episodes for sure it's got to go uh clean this out to a decent level There's fine. Okay, and then let's go ahead and cover this hole up a bit uh, with the building wand. You can also build, you know, structures and walls and stuff. Okay, so she completed that. Uh, let's go to right here for sure. Okay, and I can go deeper into the ground. You can see I left a lip there, but that's okay in this instance. So let's reclaim. I do have an axe now. Okay, I need you to move. Did a great job. Thank you so much, Ursula. And, you know, happy, happy marriage. You know, I didn't give you a gift. Uh, let's see if I got a carrot. She don't, I don't have any, I don't even have a carrot. I'm sorry. But it's 24 karat gold. So, there you go. Uh, here. All right. So, let's try to, we're kind of on on the ed edge of our time, but I would like to at least get this started for us. Um, so let's get it laid down. I think it's the same level. Again, you can tell if, you know, once you start Sydney building, building constructor activated. if they uh, start putting down a whole bunch of dirt. So we want to hire the builder. Uh, we're going to hire Willie. Yeah. And we're going to choose the building. 
think it's commercial. Which house is mine? No, it is an industrial lumber mill. Build it. All right, let's see how much we need. We need six glass and 308 planks. All right, so let's get you started on your planks. Uh, how much glass? Just six. That's not bad. Um, okay, so I will go ahead and get him started on that uh, and get more planks because I do believe I'm out of wood unless there's some wood in that other chest uh, out there. Uh, but I think otherwise I might be out. But that's why we're doing the lumber mill. I, I have this wood. Uh, let's be sure and get the most value for it. Uh, and get those to him and then I'll go get some sand but that will give us the next step that we got started so we made a lot of progress in here it's getting to be overnight anyway uh, and that will give us the lumber mill checking another item off of our list so the next thing to do is try to find a place to mine and I looked a bit underground I could see caves with the map and we may have some clear areas under here that we can mine uh, we'll want to check that out but anyway that's going to be it for this episode guys as the sun sets on the horizon i hope you enjoyed it this is a lot of fun this pack is so uh, i'm going to keep going and i hope you'll keep watching have a great day this is scott omato actually have a good night's sleep and wish ursula and willie a happy life together a joyous occasion thanks everybody for watching bye bye